the monster school of etiquette. And manners for the most refined monsters. Hurry now. I devilish and devil me not. <laughs> Part two. A monster etiquette school. Oh. Ta oh, are you ready for part two? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. The blue bird blue bird just got to be the host. And, and the dumbest area of the monster etiquette school is teaching them the next, next step. People on arrival, you will be our host of the cool hotel, I will hire you as the host. Yeah, you got a job. Yeah, you got a job. Yeah, yeah. But please do not have any slobber or drool or goo or goober on your uniform. Is that it's most imperative. You will scare the gas and a clean uniform that is perfectly ironed with no wrinkles is so important. Oh, oh, oh. I hope she doesn't see my uniform somewhere. Well, it gets wrinkly when I run around. Well, what about my uniform, said Mommy the Mumford? Okay, okay, so now we need a dress for success. Oh, yes, a dress for success. Yes, there are just so many things you need to make sure that it, your uniform is perfectly pressed and ironed. Mommy, do you think you can handle that and be our launder and um, do bedding? And I want you to, to you know, change the beds and sheets and do all the laundry. Oh, I am terrific at putting um, sheets around anything. Oh, I can do the bedding. Yes, I got the job, said the aunt for the mummy. I got a job, I'm doing the body with the sheets. Oh, yay, that's going to be so much fun. Yay, well, I don't have a job yet. I want a job, I want a job, I need a job. We need to put the roof, fix the roof of here on our Halloween haunted manor. There is no haunted houses this year. I've already told you it's banned. There's a ban on haunted houses this year. Oh, gosh. So, all the animals um, went to school and with Miss Dampero, and on the board, she wrote, on time. Meet out. Zoom meetings. Etiquette for Zoom meetings. You must stay on time. And meet up your speaker when you're not talking. What? I can't talk. What's neat? Said the ghost schooly. What's neat? I think you have to turn your speaker off so it doesn't make noise when someone's talking. And then three. Introduce yourself and to those on the call. Hello, everybody. I'm Werewolf. <laughs> Thorn served with a sulky face. Four. Put your agenda and purpose for the call. Present your agenda and purpose for the call. We are training here to be the best school hotel with etiquette and refinery and have beautiful, kind, polite, high refined monsters. No sturdy monsters, no nasty monsters, no evil monsters, no scary monsters. Refined, kind, sweet, smiling monsters for a five star hotel. And try not to speak with others in the room when you're online. What? We can't talk over each other. What? We can't say, said a blue bird goober. What? Said Gooey the Ghost. What? Said our thorns said the werewolf. What? Said Harry the Cool 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 What? Said Mom for the Mummy. What? Said the Vampire DX. Stop talking. Don't speak when others talk in the room, said Miss Vampire. Okay. And six, please sit up straight and put the camera at a favorite angle. And show a smiling face, werewolf. Ah! He showed his werewolf teeth. That Pyrex showed his teeth with his golden teeth. And the ghost. The ghost, we can't see you. We need to see you. Ooh, right here, said Gooey the ghost. And then create a backdrop so others don't see your current surroundings. Yeah, werewolf, we don't need to see your canned food, your bones, and all the food that you ate in your, your messy room with the socks and uh, dirty socks and all the stuff lying around. And... Oh, I get it. You put a backdrop so people can see what the house looks like. Oh, very cool, very cool. And explain where you are in case of an interruption takes place. What? Explain where we are? Yeah, we are at, at Mrs. Van Perl's Monster Story Finery School of Manners. Oh, and then dress appropriately. Yes, said Mommy. Dress and clean. I'll make sure just that. I'll make sure everyone looks nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then stay focused and engaged. Woo! Woo! Oh, excuse me, werewolf. Harry, thorns through the werewolf held. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> stay focused and engaged. And try not to eat or drink unless, unless it is time to be a happy hour and everyone is participating. Happy hour! Mm -hmm. I can't wait for my delicious werewolf drink, said Otter. Mmm, my delicious red wine. Said vampire, I need to bite someone. I need to go bite someone. Oh, and the, uh, wait for the hotel to leave the car. Oh, 
are so many rules. I'm so confused, said Blue Bird Goober. Me too, said Gooey the Ghost. So, I'm still learning which side of the plate does the fork go on, and which side of the plate does the spoon go on. Is the small spoon, do they go down in order, tall to so, tall to short? I'm so confused. So, everyone was hired in their positions, and then they were to, they get to go to Professor Ludwig von Monster's gastronomic cooking classes. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Ludwig van Monstery, and today we're going to have a delicious gastric cooking class. What's gastric? Oh, it's having good. Hmm, vampire? Hmm, I know, it's the refinery thing. It's five-star dining. Oh, so go with this. Oh no, I need invisible stuff. I need invisible chicken, invisible spinach, invisible cut, invisible... Oh, I love sponge cake, so delicious. Hmm, like strawberry cake and... Oh gosh, chocolate pie, peanut butter pie, ice cream, that's the best. Oh, Blueberry Goober Green. Ice cream is the best in the snow cone. Oh yeah, said Blueberry Goober the monster. Oh, uh, hell go the witch. I always like wart hog pie. And Willow said, oh, any kind of hog pie is delicious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Professor Ludwig von Monster, we will have no howling, no screaming, and everyone be polite and quiet. So, I need some assistance. Vampire, Vampy DX, come on over here, and we're will come over. So first, you are going to melt the sugar in a saute pan. What a saute pan, said Thorn, said the werewolf. Just take this silver pan over here. Oh, go with it, said Vampire DX. Yes. First, tear some sugar and put some some water and stir together and melt the sugar in a little grate, said Professor Ludwig von Monsey. A little grate, he said, well, and some shallots. Chop up some shallots and some garlic and some add some wine and cognac. Cognac, and but don't give this to the kids. If that's okay, it will. Yeah. Uh oh, I feel dizzy. I feel dizzy, said Vampire Vampy DX. I feel dizzy. Uh oh, he just passed out. What happened? I don't know. The garlic and the shallots. What are shallots? They're onions. And the garlic made him dizzy. He's allergic to garlic. Oh no. You oh man, this is the worst cooking that you've ever made in this class. Oh, I have so much to teach you. Oh, how am I ever going to get ready for you guys to be cooks? Full on a cool hotel day. So it took another three months for the monsters to be refined enough to get hired for cool hotel. But finally, the big day came when Miss Familia de Pearl walked in front of the class and she looked at them and walked up and down. And there was was Professor Lubadon Mostry at her side. So we really trained and tried our best. And we worked with you. So, under the conditions, we have found a position for each one of you. I would like to say that you were all got employment at Google Hotel, the big opening night on Halloween Day. And I want to wish you good luck and make us proud here at the Monster Refinery School for Monsters. And do make me proud. And I am so happy that you got hired. You do make my school proud. Oh, oh I got hired. Yay! Oh, so everyone left school and everyone went to went and put on their nice new outfit. Here we'll put on his, his uh, serving staff cool hotel outfit. And Hello the Witch put on her black outfit. And Who the Ghost put on his work outfit. And Luba Gooba put on his work outfit. And Vampire DX put on his outfit. And Mumford the Mummy put on his outfit. We look pretty good, don't we? I wish we could be a Halloween, Halloween haunted manor this Halloween. The kids from Mayberry Street and Mayberry Hill are gonna miss their first year ever that we don't get to scare them. Well, they got work. It's the most important, said Bambi Dupax. Because we need to fix this roof. Oh, if I just had a little money to do the magic spell, I could fix it in a jiffy, said Holly. Well, we need the money. Well, I don't know what to do. The spell is really strong, but... That evil doctor put on us that we can uh, open our own house to to have it open for Halloween. Well, let's go to work. Let's go to work. So they all arrived at Gold Hotel and everyone went to work. Mummy started making the beds and the sheets, and the werewolf started making some food. And hell you the wish some decorations for Halloween were fantastic for the kids. She could
It's spiders that are trying to put smiling spiders. So you guys imagine that I have to put up spiders with smiling little face decorations. Gosh, and little witches with smiling faces. This is ridiculous. How can a witch have a smile face? And look, they, they made this look so pretty with no warts and no long noses and no green leathery skin. Oh, it's just a sacrilege to my, my witch kingdom. If only the ghost was running around. I, I can't be in a physical ghost. What's up with that? These new rules, these new kids. I, I mean, what? And I can't make any spooky noises. They don't want any spooky noises or sounds. Ooh, ooh, no spooky sounds. Well, well, what do you think go to? Ooh. Oh, how do I look? You're perfectly blown out. Look at that hair. I barely recognize you, Thorn, sir. Yes, I got a blow up. Blow up. And my, my fur is all combed and nice. Wow, you shook up sneak prints. And then Blooper came out. Hi, everybody, look at me. How do I look? Am I doing? Oh, gosh. I have my little nap to the wet. My little Blooper Blooper all over me. I'm ready to announce all the kids to the, to the hotel. Remember, remember, you're Jesus. I'm ready to go there. I hope I remember right fork on the right side and left fork on the left side. Uh, dessert spoon under the soup spoon. Yes, yes, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, oh, oh I want to fight someone so bad. Contain yourself, contain yourself. Try to be We are trying to fix the house in time so that we can hopefully go back to that before midnight and have trick or treat for the kids at Halloween. Honey Manor on trick or treat for the Mummy Mumford, I have all the beds. Oh, I've got a couple more beds. There's so many rooms in this hotel. I still got plenty to do. All right, everybody. Oh, 
Sarah Sarah. Oh, there's Harley the Witchy Witch. Oh, wow. Everyone's here. Oh, we're so sad. But all of our favorite monsters are at home top. This is the best. All of a sudden, the kids start being really happy. Their favorite monsters were golden tiles. And the parents came in, and everyone walked around their tile and saw the beautiful flowers and the beautiful decorations that Howard the, wi the Wicked Witch did by Evelina and Evelina's instructions on how to decorate the hotel because it's a, it's a fine school. So everyone went around and had fun and walked around, and then they were sit down for the Well, good evening, kids and moms and dads and grandparents and grandpas. Everyone, come to dinner and please be seated. Okay, and he clapped. All right. I have to practice why I said, well, well, oh, these plates are heavy. Yeah, they're really heavy, said Harry the Witch. And these... Big silver trays are full. Let me see if I can get them from the kitchen. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So I'm going to go. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Was it like shallots and garlic? Or was it grape juice and a vinegar? Oh, I don't know. I'll just put some sugar and some honey and grape juice and just stir this around and around. I'm not really a good reader of recipes. I have no eyes. So how am I supposed to expect to, to read a cookbook? I mean, I can only do what I can do. So I'm going to go. And Mummy the Mumford was upstairs wrapping some bedding sheets, and then he walked around, and there was like he dragged some sheets with him and came to him and to where we were sitting down. Hey, I need some more sheets. There's not enough sheets. Some we went. Ah, we went. Yes, I need a mouthful to get the day. And Priscilla, the snooty girl from Posh, Burberry Hill. What's that, Sloppy? Ah, oh, this isn't a spice hotel. Look at that Mummy dragging his sheet around. What? Ah, oh, that's a sloppy uniform. I'm gonna put it on. I think it's more of a four-star hotel, Daddy. Not a five-star hotel. Oh, look at that werewolf. Look at him. He's not even standing straight. Oh, he's got a sulky face. Oh, he's got a smiley face. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh, Dad. Oh, look at that post. I can see him. He's supposed to be invisible, but he keeps on going visible to wear his uniform. Oh, and look. It's that monster, Blue Blue Cooper. He's got two on his uniform. Yeah, yeah, it's a Blue Blue Cooper. He quickly took out his handkerchief and wiped it off. Never really came with his gold tooth. Oh, yeah, so if you want to welcome to dinner, we'll be dining very soon. Uh, and look, said Priscilla, this fork does not go on the side of the plate. Oh, gosh. Oh, I thought this was a five-star hotel, Daddy. But the fork is not on the right side of the plate. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Huh, let me fix that for you, said Vampire, as he moved the fork to the right side before Evelina and Evelyn came in through. What, what, where? No, this fork is right, said Evelina and Evelyn. Yeah, well, was it wasn't before, said Priscilla. It was absolutely on the other side of the plate. Somebody must have moved it. <laughs> said Evelyn the Wicked Witch. Witchy Witch. And, oh, so, Evelina and Evelyn, you guys better make sure you ship shape and we better get five stars or you're never opening hell and haunted matter ever not even next year if we don't get five stars on this night you guys are never going to have a haunted mansion ever i gonna make sure my dad takes it away from you oh dear said said oh gosh i gotta make sure our whole team is doing really great don't worry don't worry don't worry don't worry evelina never so make sure that all of us do a great job tonight you Better, said Evelina and Evelish. You better, said Evelish, copying her brother. Oh, gosh. Let me check on all the monsters. Oh, everyone. Hey, Mummy, please watch your buddy. And don't let your, your bandages unravel. We need to get five stars tonight or no ha Halloween Haunted Mansion next year. Even those two twin, twin kids of Darkner have just threatened us that we can't do our Haunted Mansions if we don't get five stars. Oh, no, said Mommy. How is that going to happen? I think I'm only one star good. Oh, and then Thorn said the werewolf. Ooh, it's going to be a full moon tonight. Oh, ooh. how can I contain my, my howling and my screams? Oh, this is not going to be good. I can't contain it. Oh, oh, no. Here, Mommy, quickly, Daddy, just now. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Quick thinking. We need more quick thinking like that's a bad idea. We've got to work together to win and get five stars. And if we can get to our haunted house before midnight, we can we can do it. Ah, a wicked witch. A wicked witch. I'm working on the spell. Reverse the spell. Reverse the spell. I think there's a book here called Dark Spell Book that Darkner has hidden. And if I find a spell book, I will reverse the spell that Darkner and his twins, Evelyn and Evelyn, put in our Halloween haunted mantle. And we can go to our Halloween our home and scary kids tonight is giving the most delicious to the Oh my gosh, 
this is the best ever guest. So, they worked on their plan to make sure they get five stars and so all the guests were eating. And then, then, Gooly the Ghost and Blueber Goober came out with the most fantastic dessert ever. And, and while they were doing it, a, a mouse was chasing a spider. And then the spider hid in the dessert. And the mouse jumped in the dessert, and then Blueber Goober placed it on the table. And I was like, oh, goody, this looks like the best dessert ever since the soda. Oh, wow, well, it's so beautifully decorated. Oh, gosh, they didn't have to give them five stars of dessert there. Oh, Clever Clever noticed a towel sticking out the dessert, and it was waving, back, waving, waving back and forth. Uh-oh, he pokes it in. Uh-oh, what? I think there's a rat in the dessert, said Clever Clever just going, oh, no, sloppy by the liquor. Yeah, and there's a spider. Oh, no. Oh, my God, said that by the X. There's a mouse in the dessert. You've got to make sure the pursuer does not see it. Really, the ghost said, no worries. I'm invisible. I will grab the mouse out of there before he notices. Here, where was the cat? The to type the type so he can't see it. Ooh, pursuer. Well, that is a beautiful dress you have on. And beautiful hair do. Like my hair do. Oh, 
I found the kids. Whoa, look, there's Holly Castle. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's up, Holly? Welcome, kids. Welcome, kids. Come get your spooky candy. Oh, hi. Get the five stars and be our friend. <laughs>